Hey everybody, welcome to DC Movie Universe Trivia. This trivia is sponsored by HBO Max. Thank you, HBO Max. You can check out the bit.ly in the description there. It's bit.ly slash HBO Max RTTV, all lowercase. And you too can sign up for HBO Max. But right now we're doing some DC movie trivia. Mm -hmm. I have gathered Gotham's finest here to do Who, this trivia. Where are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James, yes, the Riddler, Willems. Oh, thank you, Alana, Batboy, Pierce. I think this that is me. It's me. It's me. And Adam. Howdy, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. And uh, you can play along with with us at home as we do our three rounds of trivia, all about the uh, best of the best of the DC movies. All I ask is that you have a pen and piece of paper so you can jot down mm -hmm. your answers. So first up, round one. I've tried to put some of the easier questions in here. Mm -hmm. Great. But we'll see. I guess we'll see. In 2018's Aquaman, there's a major battle between Aquaman and Orm. What creature plays a drum solo during it? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I know this. I know this. Good well. stuff. Yeah. Now, you remember. Okay, oh. the, this battle mm -hmm. at the epic, uh, this epic battle at the end of this film was yeah. incredible. Yeah. See a lot of ocean life. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Orm mm -hmm. was mad. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Sure, I remember that. that. Yeah. Orm remember? is. Wait, Ocean Master? Orm he, desperately he, wants no. to he, be Ocean he's Master. He desperately wants to be Ocean Master, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. That's his whole Major objective my is to be the Ocean Master. Uh -huh. He's oh, trying to my, my, overthrow my fish in a row. Aquaman's family. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. He almost drowns during that fight. I'm still not sure how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can breathe too much air. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, air I don't know. Yeah, is it air? But he. Well, no, he's underwater. He gets exposed to the air and then he throws up water. So I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's question. always in your. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 2019's Joker is the first R rated movie in history to do what? Mm. Now, only serious answers, guys. Oh, only right. serious only answers? Serious answers. For these questions. I should have stated that at the beginning of the hmm. program. I was going to say, uh, showcase a man destroying a time punch-in clock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not right? <laughs> Strangely enough, answers one and two are similar. <laughs> <laughs> Real vague. We'll see if Elise gives me that one. Not confident. Not confident. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not even me. It's HBO. Mm, it's true. true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Both of my two first answers have question marks next to them, so you know I'm confident. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotham's fine, Similar. as I said. Some, some similarities <laughs> going on. <laughs> Next question. Gotham's available as Which Batman comic was cited as inspiration for 2019's Joker? <sighs> Which Batman comic was cited as inspiration? I know I you know this Got it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, good. Definitely an iconic one. Definitely an iconic It's going to be great when I get this wrong, being the only answer that I'm like, oh, totally, I got this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Crossed out the question mark. <laughs> Next question. In 1989's Batman, the Wayne's murderer is Jack Napier. Na I actually, I Napier. Know. Napier is Napier. Napier. Yeah. Who is named as their killer in the comics? So can't believe I don't know this. <laughs> I, as I, a, you're gonna like as an enormous Batman fan. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, some guy. I didn't yeah. know this one either. I didn't know this one either. Um, hmm. Because it's, I feel like it's it's something that doesn't get talked about, and also the killer mm -hmm. of Batman's parents is constantly changing, depending on what the narrative is. Mm -hmm. It's changed a bunch too. Sometimes, so. sometimes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes okay. it's like a it's like a truck that just went off the side <laughs> of the road, and so mm -hmm. uh -huh. vengeance against mm -hmm. four wheeled vehicles. The only consistency <laughs> I know is slow pearls. All right, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> Martha. Martha is somehow the answer for all of these questions. <laughs> Oh, Love that drum solo she these. did. <laughs> Next question. During his Justice League scenes mm -hmm. at the Kent family farm, Clark Superman slash Superman, mm -hmm. because, spoiler, same person, is wearing a red checked flannel shirt. What is this a nod to? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I guess Super Superman's at the farm. He's uh -huh. chopping wood. Yeah. He's doing his buff guy stuff. He's got this red flannel shirt in. Yeah. Maybe it's hinting at something else in the DC universe. Maybe another property. Where Do Superman you know the answers? Disagree. I disagree. <laughs> Definitely not that. I, I got it. I think I, I got it. It took me a while to get there. It took me a while to get there. Uh, but now I'm there and I got mm -hmm. it. Okay, good. So, good. 
Okay, do you? Don't look at my stuff. I don't. It, we always do this. Elise always looks at my answers before the reveal, she and then she oh, makes. Please. Well, she doesn't have to. She does. She knows all the answers, but she looks at mine and she makes me second guess everything I've put down. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. time for the round one. All right, all right. First question: In 2018, mm-hmm. Aquaman, there's a major battle between Aquaman and Orm. What creature plays the dr- a solo drum during it? The mm-hmm. drum solo, if you will. I was say, yeah, it's actually plays a drum solo, not a solo drum. Because aren't there many drums? Many drums, yeah. yeah. Eight might, or more drums. I might be dyslexic. <laughs> James, <laughs> eight or more you drums have for this question. I had an octopus. An octopus. Okay. The 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 f- finest, the most rhythmic animal, aquatic animal. I would bet money on. I that. guess I could see if you were an octopus, you would want to be playing a drum solo and not a solo drum because having all those What's the point? tentacles yeah. would defeat the point. It'd just be, uh-huh. it'd just be, ba 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 it's yeah, just be the noise. Yeah, so yeah. fast that it would just be one solid bass line. The yeah, line, that's it. I hear you. Um, a lot uh, of things you can have. I too wrote octopus question mark. Um, <laughs> okay. Because I don't remember it happening, but I can picture it. It's you know, like It's I not remember. like I recall it, but I'm like, <laughs> I can picture that exact thing happening mm-hmm. via an octopus. Adam, you were pretty confident with this yeah. one. Really I was I I recalled it was Crab King. Oh, uh, that was my second I, guess. Sorry, it was Crab King. Yeah, You're and I drew a little confused. crown for him. You're confusing two very climactic moments from the film. Later on, years. during the final battle, Orm battles the the Crab King in a bid to be Ocean says, Master. You will never be Ocean Master. And the Crab King stands up to him. Yeah. Uh, there you go. This this movie has everything. The octopus, the octopus on the other hand, is a willing participant in the monarchy of Orm. <laughs> Happy to be included. Just wants yeah. to drum. Just wants to drum. Apparently, mm-hmm. is that right? right? Is that correct, Elise? It was Topo the octopus, of course. Of course, Adam. Topo. Look at all those drums. One, two, Sorry. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine over there Just, in the back. He One was extra. Also, Aquaman's sidekick from the 1950s comics. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. What? Well, I guess the whole ocean's his sidekick at that point, right? True. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. sure if you dug through any of those old comics, you could find a panel that had some sort of chaos in it, too. Yeah, yeah. There's like a mm-hmm. school of fish, and they're like, oh, you're his sidekick, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are his too. best friends. Those are his best yeah, yeah. friends. <laughs> he, he goes through us pretty quick. He went to anyway. school with those fish. Um, next question. <laughs> nice. Uh, 2019's Joker was the first R-rated movie in history to do what? Alana, did you? I know you Look, I was, very, I was very vague about it. It's up to you whether I get away with this, if it's even correct. I wrote mm-hmm. that much profit. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the first one to do as much profit as it did. As much profit. And you yeah. said specifically profit too. So that I means said minus that the cost much, of the film. That much profit. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what I wrote. Okay. Yep. Okay. Adam, so how did made you a bunch of money. word profit into your uh, answer? I, you wrote I just Crab wrote, King. I wrote Star, Star the Joker? Joker. Well, I mean, while well, technically true. Technically true. <laughs> He's not I, I mean, wrong. There's no, there's no other R-rated films that star the Joker or even have the Joker. That's you got to be yeah. careful with those trivia questions, Elise. Adam's yeah, gonna try and he's his, not wrong. He's gonna try and, yeah. gonna try and get um, as many right out on a technicality as possible. James, what did you? Do? I'm looking I for a mistrial. Two answers. I had two answers. Two okay. answers. My first serious answer is make a billion dollars, mm-hmm. and then my joke answer is feature a dance montage. First R-rated movie to feature a dance montage. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the answer was Could actually make a billion dollars. Yeah. So, like, do I get a point? I think Alana and James, I'm sorry, Adam. Uh, Just... Yeah, for sure. Adam definitely not getting <laughs> that point. Give me your scraps. No. I will rise yeah, up against I you. Profited you know, good. I, w- I was going to say, I would have I would have maybe made a case against Alana's answer for the profit thing, except that it was a notoriously cheap film to make. Yeah. So it had a huge profit. Yeah. And it did star the Joker. It did star the Joker. Still technically correct. <laughs> Checkmate. <wrong. laughs> Panelists. You can give yourself a point there, uh, but just like internally. Like, no, no, you did that. Outside but we, no one else is acknowledging it. Mm-hmm. Plus one for Adam. The next question asked which Batman comic was cited as inspiration for 2019's Joker. Mm-hmm. Adam? Man, I just took a guess and wrote uh, issue 502, right. Batman. That's okay. not right. Oh, it's probably not that. Detective Comics. Hold on, yeah. don't you, Adam? Are you doing this on purpose, or do you actually know nothing about Batman? <laughs> I know a lot, but well, I, I went through like the list in my head. I was like, is it Long Halloween? Is it Dark Knight Returns? Like it, it uh-huh. that's a tough one. I guess maybe the okay. 
Oh, it just came down. Oh, feel right. real he silly about it. this, Adam. We I think you're gonna feel real it. silly. Yeah, Did you see him Adam, just figure it if out? You, if you want to <laughs> say it now, you could get half a point. It's the killing joke. It. Is it though? We'll find out. Is it? Pretty Pretty sure it is. You have. I said the killing joke. Did you say that to make Adam feel better? Nope, I wrote it down. And then I put a comma because I was going to try and write a joke answer. And then I realized I couldn't think of any other Batman comic names. Okay. It's a killing joke right there. Oh, it's got the killing yeah. joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why does your handwriting look like that's a manifesto? Don't worry about it. It's, uh, I don't want to talk about it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> sent to a governmental building. Yeah, just the correct like the answer Joker. was the 1988 classic. Uh -huh. joke. You have to minus that point that you gave to yourself for that, Adam. Your self-esteem is no longer allowed to have mm -hmm. that point. So, mm -hmm. just right, saying, you know, I don't make the rules. At, we're, so, Those HBO the game, rules. I'm at... Okay, I'm at zero. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> zero. Back down to zero. I, I have climbed out of that pit. Next up, in 1989's Batman, the Wayne's murderer is Jack Napier, who is named as the Wayne's killer in the comics. Hmm. Um, you get there, scribble down. Well, I, his name is Joe Chill, but I wrote Chill Joe, because that's what he's known as to his friends. Hmm. Canon? What? Is this canon? It's yeah. canon for me. If, uh, like if he if he went to any bar, CD bar or whatever in Gotham, that he's known as Chill Joe because he's so cool. He's um, so chill, killing people, he, walking he, away, yeah. not caring. Care. As long as so is it, the thing with him is that if he asks for your pearls and you just give them to him, it's not a problem. <laughs> Joe has advised me only to accept canon answers. All right. Well, then I'm going to move so Joe we'll to the other that. side. Well, and get rid of the quotation marks. And then Joe Chill. Alana, I know you were <laughs> unsure about this one. Did you? I think that this has occurred once uh, or twice. I'm pretty sure that it does in one of the games. Uh, I wrote John Doe. Like, I know that's not a real mm. name, but I think that when they don't know who the guy is, they call him John Doe. Or like, I feel like there is at one point a canon where someone <laughs> called John Doe <laughs> did do that. <laughs> but there's never confident mm. in it. It, just, it, says it, say there, it does mm. say John Doe. That's a closer answer than Chill Joe. Well, hold on a minute. It's not at all closer. <laughs> Adam, did hmm. you know? Yeah, I well, I made a joke answer too, but it's um, Joe HBO Max <laughs> and Chill. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. <Yeah. laughs> okay. So, yes, I knew that answer because I oh, read I the comics. Wow, okay. Joe, Joe Chill. <laughs> Joe Chill. Not John Dove. I mean, his parents have been killed a thousand ways. <laughs> and they'll be killed a thousand yeah. more. I think what I'm actually them. thinking of where John Doe is concerned is that that is the name that they give to the Joker in the Telltale series. Mm. They just call him John Doe. Again, I know that's like a John Smith. It's like a made up whatever, but I'm, mm. I, it's in there somewhere, man. I, Maybe because you know? he's like a baker, you know, he's working with Doe oh, good and he loves mm. money. Mm. <laughs> he's, he's got a little pudge, you know, he could lose a little weight. So it's John Doe. Exactly. Thank you. Thank I, you. I also like just that to help. Alana just said that John Smith is a made up name. <laughs> it's a <laughs> name that they use as a placeholder. No one has and, that name. And, and an, an employee of ours, yes. The final mm -hmm. question of this round asked during his Justice League scenes at the Kent family farm Clark slash Superman is wearing a red checked flannel shirt. What is this meant to be a nod to? Mm. Alana. Yeah, really confident with this one. I thought about writing, writing Portland, Oregon, but instead I wrote farm stuff. It's a nod yeah. to doing farming, uh, being okay. a farmer. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with, I, so I, bad about I think that's a answers. great Farms. answer, Alana. I think Thank that's you. a great answer. Adam, what did you have? Uh, I couldn't really come up with an answer, so I just wrote only smallvillefarmers.com. <laughs> Not an actual so, website. Don't go there. Okay, so you got small uh, bills. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys well, have farmers, yeah. farmer wants a wife in the US? We have farmers what? only, farmers I only. think. That's what it farmer is. wants a wife is a, a, like a dating <laughs> show like The Bachelor in Australia, except that it is specifically for a farmer who is looking for a wife. It's called Farmer Wants a Wife. No, a okay. reality TV show, except The Bachelor okay. is just a guy who runs a farm. Uh, is okay. it that or is it like wholesome where you're like, I actually like Farmer Wants a Wife? Actually pretty wholesome. Oh. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's nice. He's like, yeah. I lost my hoe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so I think Alana should definitely get a point for her answer. Okay. Uh, Adam, I'm not so sure about, okay. but I wrote, it's what I'm farmers sorry. wear. Oh. All right. Which it's what farmers wear. So, you know. I want to know the, I want to know the real answer. Nice the tablet. Answer. Ah, <laughs> 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 right. The answer is the 2001 series Smallville. Actually, I'm going to give Adam oh, a point. What? Thank you. 
Yeah. I honestly, well, I was going to say minute, be, what it's going. Adam. I was going. I was going to say the dad from Smallville, but then I thought, eh, I'll just throw in a little Smallville joke. So yeah, yeah, I, I knew the answer. Way to go! What? Thank it, you. But that's what farmers wear. The only reason the so costume correct. designer on Smallville put mm -hmm. this person in a flannel shirt is because that's what mm -hmm. farmers wear. Well, not, <laughs> okay. most just Smallville farmers that's typically. Not very chill, Elise of you. Okay. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> that's that's the end of round one. We can mm. check in with our scores. James, do you want to? Yes, I have four four points. That's a great that's great out of five. Very do it better than I normally do. Alana, how are you doing? I got three out of five. Feeling all right. Feeling all right. Also really good. Adam, a man with that right. clutch Smallville answer. Three out of five. I'm doing okay. I I thought I was gonna do way worse, but mm -hmm. here I am. Okay. Before we move on to round two, I just want to mention that this segment, this trivia stream, is sponsored by HBO Max. Uh, hence, our trivia is being uh, is all about DC movies like Aquaman, Wonder Woman, The Joker, Batman, Batman Returns, Justice League. You can also sign up for your free HBO Max trial right now. And if you don't have HBO Max, we do. I love it. Uh, it has groundbreaking series, documentaries, award-winning specials, and new movies every week. Right now, uh, I just saw that Jojo Rabbit came to it, mm -hmm. which is a great one to watch. They have the best of DC and Warner Brothers, every movie on HBO, plus comedies, dramas, and classics you love to stream again and again. Um, HBO Max has new movies and nostalgia films. I've been on a rewatching kick right now. And HBO Max, watching? I'm really great for that. So I, I rewatched Little Shop of Horrors. Couldn't mm, sleep nice. one night, and I was like, I need something comforting, a classic. Mm -hmm. And that movie is is timeless. Mm -hmm. it's so great. I rewatched. I did the same Kill with Bill. Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rewatched Kill Bill, which is those two movies are mm -hmm. some of my favorite movies ever. And I also rewatched uh, Death Becomes Her, mm. which is just like that's a, a great, great movie. Great mm -hmm. camp classic. Yep. Uh, yes. in incredible performances. It's it's such a like phenomenal movie. I, it's not a movie, but I have to give a shout out to Insecure because I binged all of Insecure, mm -hmm. and it, it is so good and amazing. So thank you. I'm also going to shout out Summer Camp Island. Summer Camp Island, so cute. Love it. Little animated show. So thank you, HBO Max, for sponsoring this. We can get back to our trivia now. Round two. So round two. Jose, so that was four Batman questions and then a Superman question. So well, we got an Aquaman <laughs> one, didn't we? We're gonna have a... an Aquaman question in there. Oh right, Joker. there's yeah, 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 yeah. Joker Batman. Yeah. Sorry, Joker's well, Batman. He had his own movie Joker's in which Batman. he was starring as Adam. Batman's in it, uh, but Batman's in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What can you do? Which landmark right. made famous by Joker now has its own label in Google Maps? Do not say the Joker Cave. It is not <laughs> the Joker Cave. Wait, what? Hold so this landmark, you know, it's in the movies. Everybody sees it. Everybody wants it. Oh, oh, what oh! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Everybody. I was gonna. I was gonna now I'm confused. Like mm -hmm. Everybody wants to take their pick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm good. At the Joker. I got. I got it. At the Joker cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is it. That fridge. <laughs> yeah. Next question. In Wonder Woman, Diana harnesses the power of lightning to fight. Why is she able to do this? What about her? Uh, what about her uh, means that she can take that lightning and uh -huh. put it down? Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Adam, Adam sounded like he was on it and then quickly uh. <laughs> lost it. You know, it. the answer is correct but is elise gonna give it to me i don't know i'll take half a point for this one i'm i'm <laughs> desperate for anything <laughs> i can go a little more specific hey no help what? okay i gotcha hmm. <laughs> is that specific <laughs> why is it taking so long to write joker cave <laughs> i have to write two answers what i think is the right answer and then what i think will get a laugh that's how i work okay. next question mm-hmm which two villains make a surprise appearance in the Justice League after credits scene? So we saw Justice League. It was the great culmination of all these saw heroes to yeah. coming together. And then oh there gosh. was a, there was an after credits scene. And two oh. villains. I'll give you a clue. One of the villains we have seen in the DCU before. Yeah. But then one, it was it was a yep. reveal. I was excited to see him. I, I mean, them. I don't remember or, at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, oh this is going to kill me. Um, I have no idea. Sure, oh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Mm -hmm. And I think he he said he said wait till they get a load of me. They didn't say that. Mm -hmm. 
Now to the Joker cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll pull it up here on Google Maps. <laughs> Next question. In Aquaman, Aquaman and Mira fake their deaths by doing what? So they need to make an escape. Uh -huh. Got to fake their deaths. Mm -hmm. What do they do? They, and it's not going into the Joker cave. <laughs> fake their okay. deaths by doing what? This one might be a little tough. I love Aquaman. And even I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> Me, the one who knows all the answers. Okay, all right, I believe you. So the movie covers a lot of ground. It does. And water. And, and what? oh. It's Ice. fine. We're, we're, we hang out too much. Okay. This is the final question mm -hmm. of this round. Mm -hmm. At the end of Wonder Woman, who is Diana seen writing a letter to? She did a lot in Wonder Woman. Okay? She did do because it was the wars, movie was framed, right? Love. Yeah, it's framed as her telling the story, and she Aww. is in Paris, I believe, writing a letter okay. to. <laughs> mm -hmm. For for this question, I will be accepting anything written on the page. Great, fantastic! <laughs> Happy to hear it. Perfect. I have written things on the page. Yes, that means I will be getting points. <laughs> Any Some. ink that meets pulp. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Pen down. All right, is it time for answers? Yeah, it's time okay. for the answers. Great. First up, which landmark made famous by Joker now has its own label in Google Maps? Adam, you want to kick it off? Hey, stairs. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, this, the All Joker right. did the pose. Stairs. Hey. He did the pose on the stairs. The and he's like, on, real quick, I got to pick up my stuff at the Joker Cave, <laughs> which is his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. James, what did you have? I wrote Joker stairs to be specific because okay. Adam just wrote stairs and I feel like there's probably lots of stairs. Like, so I was specific about Joker stairs, but then I wrote slash clown union. What's the, cl the clown union? That's what's in the move from the movie. The that's clown where he, union. That's where he, that he works. works. He's where everyone all clocks clowns in and in out. The city are represented mm. and their rights are protected as clowns. And, <laughs> and so now if you wanted to, you could, you could search clown union. It'll come mm -hmm. up on the map, and then you can find it and go visit the clown. Become yeah. clown. Become clown. Uh, like, become oh, clown. I don't want to look at this anymore. I too wrote clown. The dude. staircase. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no clown. Is, it, is, is there a specific name they? Yeah, the stairs called? in the Bronx. The stairs in the Bronx. The stairs, stairs in the Bronx. In the, okay. Bronx. the next question asked uh, in Wonder Woman: Diana harnessed the power of lightning to fight. Why mm -hmm. was she able to do this? James, do you know? I said she's a goddess. And mm -hmm. then you said maybe even more specific. So then I wrote feminism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the power of feminism. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, yeah, so she I is an the, icon. The she two combined icon. are plenty enough to get you to pull lightning bolts from the sky. Right. Alana, same answer. Uh, well, <laughs> I wrote she's a superhero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you write anything else? Hey, after hey. that? <laughs> no, just that. Didn't mention feminism. Oh, okay. It's my bad. I'll work on it. Bring it home. I, I said something to do with Zeus, question mark. You misspelled you Zeus. You spelled Zeus wrong. <laughs> oh, You're I absolutely dyslexic. did. You're dyslexic like a lady. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll do that correctly. Hold on. Thank you. S -E -U -Z. S -E -U -Z. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. The answer was because she is the daughter of Zeus. Mm. Got a lightning. Okay. Damn. Okay. Actually, I'm going to give it to Adam, I That's think. Bad. No, That's bad. bad. That's bad. That's bad. For me, feminism. You're you think a man can do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess. You tell me, you half guess. point or no? Yeah. Okay. Half point. All right. I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> Feminism next to every answer now and hope it works. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Who is she writing a letter to? Feminism. <laughs> <laughs> the next question asked, which two villains make a surprise appearance in the Justice League after credit scene? Actually, we'll, we'll consider this one for two points. Okay. Um, oh, so like if you it. get one, you'll, you'll get a point for mm -hmm. one. I'll take both of them. Not looking yep. good. Got them both Me. right. This is definitely not right. Uh, I wrote henchmen one plus two. Because <laughs> um, maybe there were two characters. henchmen around. Yeah. That doesn't seem unlikely. Yeah. Equals henchmen three. So we had seen henchmen one in a previous film, and henchmen two was a surprise reveal. Probably. These aren't henchmen. These are, you know, I'm not trying to be a big old DC nerd, but these aren't henchmen. Okay. These are super villains. Adam, <laughs> did you? Yeah. I have an answer for this. Uh, yeah, I wrote Lex Luthor and Deathstroke, and then I drew Deathstroke. <laughs> did you? It looks like he's got, he's got one eye. Mm -hmm. 
Scowling. <laughs> was that right? Okay. James, what did you have? Uh, I wrote I wrote Lex Luthor on his yacht, and I wrote Slade. Is that supposed to be Slade Wilson? It oh, is. Well, you yeah. didn't specify Slade Wilson. Uh, if you watch Teen Titans, they don't call him Deathstroke because it's too adult. They call him Slade. But you only it could, that could be any. Slade, <laughs> if you not if Slade you Wilson. asked if you met him <laughs> in the street, and you said hi, my name's Elise. Mm -hmm. You think he's gonna go? I'm Deathstroke. Yeah, no, he's gonna go. He nice to meet you. The name Slade. The correct answer was Deathstroke and Lex Luthor. Yes. But you can't confirm to me that the boat didn't have two henchmen on it. That is, I'm going to give Alana half a point for that. Thank you. Adam okay. gets two points. Thank I'm you. Sure Are you Slade kidding me? Slade. Know, but Slade. You didn't write Slade Wilson. He wouldn't, he wouldn't say I'm Slade Wilson. He goes, okay, nice to meet you, two, Slade. You get two points. You get two points. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The next question asks, in Aquaman, Aquaman and Mira fake their deaths by doing what? Adam, do you know? Uh, I wrote drowning. Oh, interesting. Oh. Mm. Very interesting. That would be interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. James, what, mean, what did you have? Last, last, last thing you would expect. Well, I'd argue otherwise. I wrote breathing air. Oh, so the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> drowning, you think they died by breathing mm. air. Yeah, they probably just, they, they surfaced. Mm-hmm. And then they went, oh, oh, pretended to choke. Got on a boat, and then and then Orm was like, "Well, what can you do?" And then they I believe they were dead. Yeah. And then yeah. by Adam's logic, they went back in the water and went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. Then they went. They could breathe. Yeah. Alana, did you know? Yeah, I wrote. Um, did they just take a nap, or maybe I think I remember them jumping out a window. I thought you were gonna say something. They hid inside a whale. They hide inside a whale to, to think they Close. Were Damn. I thought, wow. I thought window was going to be whale. Wait, so the people of the ocean thought they were like, well, they're in a whale now. They must be dead. Yeah, they're whale meat. Yeah. I don't think that's how whales work. I don't think any carnivorous ever... whale has eaten you, the, taken another soul. You show me eaten one person, fiction or nonfiction, that has died in the belly of a whale. Never. It's Fish. never happened. Whales are just whale. just just places to go to or honestly survive. Ahab. I'll have you know, James, my grandfather died inside of a whale. Oh my and god, this I'm is so sorry. Really insensitive. Oh my okay, god, I'm so, so sorry. I should you know. take that that take the feminist point away. Yeah, I was gonna say the woman. You lose a feminist point. You lose a feminist point. Damn. <laughs> I'm the feminist point. <laughs> Give it to the whale. <laughs> the last question this round asked the end of Wonder Woman, who is Diana seen writing a letter to? Mm -hmm. And James, what did you have here? I wrote, and this is I, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole movie because I feel like it's so profound and it really ties it all together. She's writing it to us, the viewer. <laughs> She's telling <laughs> that is us profound. the story. And I, 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 I remember when I watched it, I said, wow, that's, that's something. Yeah, it is it's something. It's something. Us, the viewer. Alana, do you also think that the letter was directed at, at us? No, I wrote, uh, and I'm not confident, I wrote Batman. I think I remember her maybe writing a letter to Batman, but I did Dear also Batman, put- Batman, AKA <laughs> Bruce I think, well, it's an email though, but I, I did also you. put, if you're not referring to email that she sends him, which maybe is just in a different movie, that dude who liked her. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Could be either. Who did you um, have? Well, I remember because it was setting up Wonder Woman, uh, the, the next one, and she's writing a letter to Richard Nixon begging him to not break into the Watergate, yet he refuses. <laughs> 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 I specifically remember that happening. Uh, why, would, why would he be so against it? He's like, Maybe he's well, not no. a feminist. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. The correct no. answer was Bruce Wayne, which, Alana, I'll have you know that he is also Batman. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're right. So, oh my so god, I got a point. I didn't even know. Point is it, not so, that dude who liked to yes, Batman. Do I get half a point if I watched the whole movie just presuming that I was Bruce Wayne? Like <laughs> when I watched it the first time, I watched it through Imprinting the eyes of yourself. me being Bruce Wayne and going, what would Bruce Wayne think? So technically the viewer, me, was Bruce Wayne who she was trying to get to. I just put an extra already. I don't think that but, you get points for being a sociopath. Um, yeah, yeah. Or whatever fine. that complex is. <laughs> I have the X down there. What is sure. what is the current score? I think a lot. Oh yeah, let's ahead. check in on that too, James. Do you know on five. I, I have. Uh, I got three that round, so I have seven total. Okay, Alana. Yeah. Miles behind. I'm on five point five. Adam. Seven. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. How did that happen? Right. Well, this, I should have seven and a half. Final round might turn it all around. Feminism thing, but I guess it don't. Huh. Made a woman cry, so yeah, well, not it. She's not a it. goddess. Feminism, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, well. whale grandpa. <laughs> My grandma was eaten by a whale. So. This final round is only four questions, mm. but I'm thinking you guys can double them if you want. Would you want to double, double them? Double score? Whoa, okay. All right. This first question, some fan speculation here. Evidence mm. throughout Joker has given rise to the, to the theory that Arthur's father may be who? Who in the DC universe oh. could be Arthur, the Joker's father? A baby born in the dark depths of the Joker cave, not knowing... <laughs> Who his real father mm. was. <laughs> Raised by penguins with riddles all around him. <laughs> he remembers looking out his window into the wheat field and always seeing this spooky scarecrow watching him. Are you my father? <laughs> he asks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Adam's really going for it. Something more about Richard Nixon. He might be right. <laughs> He's bringing up Watergate again. We just can't stop him. Okay. Answer done. All right, next question. In Justice League, we learn that there are three mother boxes hidden on Earth. The mother box in Atlantis was stolen by who? This is the last sound, right? These are tough questions, guys. Think of the villains that we have in Justice League. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joe uh, Chill. Joe Chill. <laughs> back, and he wants a mother box. Henchman Thanks one. for inviting me to Atlantis. <laughs> hey, is that a mother box? I'll just <laughs> chill my way over there. Nice. Shh. Are there and pearls in that Martha box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. These are tough questions. These guys. are tough questions. This is a tough round. This is mm. a tough round mm. for right. sure. I'm, I'm holding in there. You gave us a clue there when you That's... talked about villains. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm. Um, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> the next question. The penultimate question. Uh huh. There are multiple instances in Joker where clocks show the same time. What time is it? So we, we see, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's over Arthur's shoulder or somewhere in the background, these clocks mm -hmm. that keep showing up, they're showing the same time. What is that time? Yeah, that's a correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? None of these have gone well for me. It's mm. not good. It's not. I'm it's sorry. not good. Just another wild guess. Mm. I mean, there's mm. only what four numbers? Come on, you can. I'm just trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to time. think of the the time of day. Like what settings took place in the <laughs> in the in the film. You know what, James? Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What they say. I, uh, you're Sometimes right. Three. I also, it's getting hotter in my apartment the longer that I sit here, so I'm sweating mm. more and more as the rounds go on, and it feels <laughs> like it's getting more intense. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know what time was. <laughs> All right, final question. This yes. is the toughest one. Okay. Okay, okay, in, okay. In 1992's Batman Returns, what does Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin, say when he is called penguin at the cemetery? So Oswald Cobblepot, he's got a very dramatic scene. Uh -huh. you know, he's, he's visiting his his, mm. his family at the cemetery. He says he says something. Is this he's, that he's speech in, in, Don always does? He's called the penguin. <laughs> no, that's later. Oh. He's called the penguin. What does he say? And you, and maybe draw on your own personal experience. If someone called you a penguin, what you might say that that might help you okay. inform this answer. That one's good. I know that one. Oh my gosh. What does he say? I mean, I know. I don't know. The... All right. I feel confident uh, about all of these. It's not going to go well for me this time, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Stop okay. looking at my answers before I show them. <laughs> Back to the answers now. Okay. Evidence throughout Joker has given rise to the theory that Arthur's father may be who? James, do you want to kick it off? Yes, I said Thomas Wayne or Chill Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Alana? Did you have God something? Damn. I also wrote Thomas Wayne, but I was concerned about it because you said fan theories when I feel like it's like expressly a mm -hmm. film theory. Mm -hmm. Like the film quite, you know, pushes it. So I was like, do fans have some other theory I don't know about? Hence, I'm not confident. I, I, I peruse subreddits where fans theorize about things that are <laughs> utterly explicit <laughs> within yeah. the film. <laughs> so true, it would, I guess true. it would be on the realm of possibility. Adam, what did you have? I also wrote Thomas Wayne, but not the one from Flashpoint, like you're thinking, Elise. The one where Bruce dies instead of his dad, who then goes on a murderous rampage through a dark it's, version of Gotham. So that becomes Joker, that's, yeah. That's good comic, too. Yeah. Cool. No mention yeah, of Nixon. No mention of Nixon. No. Are you feeling I, okay? <laughs> 
It's wrong. <laughs> there's there's three more answers. So. That's true. Uh -oh. We got plenty uh -oh. of nicks in the cup. Uh -oh. The correct answer was Thomas Wayne. Thomas so Wayne. If, if you had that, that's definitely two points for you. But I'm wondering if I should deduct one for Chilt Joe. What? Fans have said it. <laughs> it's been a theory. I, I've seen it. I've seen it on websites where people on the website discuss that. <laughs> was it only There's a lot of websites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Justice League, we learned that there are three mother boxes hidden on Earth. The mother box in Atlantis was stolen by whom? Whom. Yeah, whom. Yeah, I know. I realize that now reading it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, so maybe, who was, maybe me. I went first last time. Alana. I just, I wrote Lex Luthor with no confidence whatsoever. Oh. Um, why, would he, because, why would he do it if he wasn't confident in it? <laughs> good, good question because uh, I figure like he's kind of the mastermind behind a lot of things so maybe he orchestrated it I don't know, I don't know how he got down there mm -hmm. <laughs> separate yeah. issue his I'm sure. yeah. he, had a, he, had a, he had a snorkel he's fine Yeah, Adam who did you have for this one I wrote Steppenwolf Boom, I should say Steppenwolf but also that could be wrong Mm. Okay. That is how trivia mm. works. Yeah, okay. could be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. James, I know you got a big I, one here. Oh, I got a big I, one. Sorry, I wrote it. I, so. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. I um, not sure about it. I wrote Black Manta or Chill Joe. Okay. Because I thought he's all over the. <laughs> he, the thing is, he's all over the DC universe. Everybody's he, talking about him. He's the puppet master pulling the strings. Chill Joe. <laughs> Adam was correct. It was Steppenwolf. Yeah, it was. It, yeah. I guess he gathers them all, right? I, I could picture him, yeah. but he wasn't, just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was sure. thinking that. Because no. yeah, he Chill Joe. Steppenwolf, to his friends, is often known as Chill Joe. <laughs> <laughs> our, our second to last question asked, okay. in Joker, mm -hmm. we see that there are multiple instances in which clocks show the same time. What time mm -hmm. is it that we see Adam who... Oh. who uh, or what time um, do you think it is? I thought this was like a trick question because it, the time's irrelevant. It was, I just wrote down his catchphrase, which is Joker time, baby. Very <laughs> 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 good. Very he, says, good. He, he says it a few times in the movie. Uh -huh. We all laugh. Yeah, yeah that's the great. Catchphrase. Because it like reminds you that you're watching a movie, and that's what I like about it. <laughs> uh, James, what time did you have? I had no idea, so I took a wild guess and said 10 10. Why does it say a time to chill? <laughs> <laughs> that's a different that's for a different trivia I'm doing oh, later. Okay. Um, no, I said 10 10. 10 10. I wrote 301, uh, because I feel like for some reason my brain thought that that was right. I, I don't know why, though. I have no logic. Hmm, hmm. Might want to go to the doctor. It's a thought. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. So yeah, it was it was 11, 11. 11, 11. Oh. 11, 11. It keeps popping up, and it's it's unclear if it was intended or just a coincidence. I mean, it must be. Mm. Right? It must be intended. Funny. Like, there's, it doesn't... 10, 10, though. Hmm. 10, 10 would be a smile. Come on. That's why I thought it'd be good, is it's 10, 10 would be a smile, and it's like, oh, all the clocks are smiling. Let's put a smile on that clock. Which would be, like, thematically appropriate. Why is everyone making this? It makes perfect sense. How is 10, 10 <laughs> a smile, exactly? Because one hand goes up that way, and the other hand goes up that yeah. way, and it forms a smile. The final question. All oh, right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> In Batman Returns, what does Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin, say when he is called penguin at the cemetery james i didn't remember the exact wording of it only the context of the speech but he said something like i had a name because he's looking at his family he's like i had a name yeah. dot 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 and then i wrote it was <laughs> chill joe <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know how much of that i don't know how accurate yeah i was but it was something to the effect of him saying like i've been referred to as the penguin but I had a name. My parents called me mm. Oswald Cobblepot. Alana, did you have? Something? Yeah, I remember this like off by heart. Uh, he said, it me, Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yeah, it was weird. It came uh, out of nowhere, but oh. that's uh, they're like penguin. And he's like Richard Nixon. It's great because penguin it's a penguin Nixon. quote and a Richard Nixon quote. Yeah, like it's the both. Right. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have time for a joke answer because, uh, like you said, Elise, we're our amazing sponsor. Let me watch this movie just this week. Are you kidding me? It, you watched it just this I week. I watched it and I had it memorized. When they asked the question, 
Or when they go, when they say, you know, you're a penguin, he looks at the camera and goes, the name's Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Great clearly, film, clearly you nobody know? watched the film. I will. I, um, I because saw when I was did, a kid. Like, if you had watched them recently, you would know that he says, a penguin is a bird that cannot fly. I am a man. I have a name. It is Riddler Nixon. I was I, I wrote, I had a name. Okay. And part of it is, I have All a right, name. I'm going to say, you get one. That's you get one. Cool. Wow. I watched uh, Batman 89 last night. Uh, Not this um, many 89 cards. Yeah. You just missed it. Great. Maybe you know how to pronounce okay. Napier, at least. Yeah, that's about it. Well, that's the end of the trivia. Oof. If you want to tally your. It's not, it's not looking good for me. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. overall. Yeah. I'm, I'm so Joker pleased. time, baby, doesn't <laughs> count as a. Mm. These are doubled, right? I guess Adam, do you want to kick off your uh, result? I got eleven. I got eleven points. Eleven. Let's see it. Alana, how much? How many do you have? Seven point five, baby. Oh, hey, <laughs> Joker. I love that part. <laughs> How'd you do, James? I had ten points. I would have had eleven if I had gotten that full penguin, penguin quote. quote. Oh well. Adam, can you hold up your yeah. paper again? Yeah. So the person who wrote Crab King the crab. for his for his first <laughs> for his first answer <laughs> won. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah. So ends our DC movie trivia. Thank you again to HBO Max that sponsored. Uh you can visit bit.ly slash HBO Max RTTV to uh sign up yourself. And thank you guys for being great contestants. Thank you. Those are fun questions. Thank, thank you. What what did I win? What did I win? Uh a free trial membership for HBO Max. I already pay for it. Oh great. Perfect. <laughs> Then we're all, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs>